All right, hello everybody. Um, today we're gonna do the CO2 use in green plants lab. Listen up. All right, so let's just read the first part of it. It says, Elodia is an underwater plant. I have some Elodia. B blue, there's my B blue, is an indicator for um, carbon dioxide. When B blue has a blue color, it means no carbon dioxide is present. When B blue is green, which is considered an intermediate color, or yellow, it means carbon dioxide is present. So we're going to use those materials today to try to prove that carbon dioxide gets sucked up up by plants. Remember, they're doing the process called photosynthesis, and they're basically vacuuming our air of carbon dioxide. And remember, that's really great because carbon dioxide is a global warming gas, and we need plants to clean it out. So the, the more plants we have, the cleaner our air is. Um, so let's prove that that's true today. Let's show that that's really happening. So these are the materials you get. You get that bromthymol blue and the underwater plant. You get some test tubes. I have them right here some test tubes, um, a drinking straw, what? Um, some stoppers. So these are for putting in the test tubes, setting it gently in the test tubes. Um, and then a test tube holder for holding the test tubes. We also have a nice sunshiny window um, that we're going to be able to do some photosynthesis in it. So it says here, using the above materials, set up an experiment of your own to prove that green plants use carbon dioxide when exposed to light for a period of time. Don't forget to include a control or controls for comparison. So remember that that's the whole point of a control group is to compare Hair. So we're going to set up our, our plant and we're going to try to get it to photosynthesize and to prove that it's using carbon dioxide. And then we're going to have a control group that shows what would happen if the plant weren't there sucking up the carbon dioxide so we can compare them. All right. So then it says, draw a detailed label diagram of your experimental setup below. Clearly indicate your before and after um, color results. So we'll, we'll draw both the control group and the experimental group, and I will help you do that. Okay. So give me just a second. I'm going to pause for just a moment. I got to grab one item that I forgot to. I'll be right back. All right, back again. Okay, so when we design this lab, students are often like, well, KJ, what is the straw for? Are we supposed to be drinking something? No, sillies, that would be gross, um, especially in a lab situation. We're going to use the straw today instead for blowing bubbles. Um, we exhale carbon dioxide. So we're going to use the straw to add carbon dioxide to a sample of water, and then we're going to ask the plant to suck up the carbon dioxide that we added. So I have a flask here. I don't know if you can tell. I should hold it in front of something white. There you go. Um, I have a flask here, and I added the bromthymol blue, and so it looks a nice blue color. Um, now I'm going to blow bubbles, and remember that this changes color in the presence of carbon dioxide. It takes a few seconds, so I'm going to blow for a little bit, and if it doesn't change right away, I'll pause the video so you don't have to sit here watching me blow bubbles, and it'll turn yellow in, in usually within 30 seconds to one minute. Let's see how long it takes. I'll do it for just a little bit, and if it doesn't change color, I'll, um, I'll, I'll pause the video. All right, what color do we have right now? Oh, it is already a light green. Let's just do it for a few more seconds. See if we can get it to a nice yellow. Can you see that? It's it's still a little bit on the green side. Let's do a little one more blow. All right, do we have a nice yellow color? Hopefully you can see that that's a nice yellow color now. All right, so that is our carbon dioxide water that we're gonna use today. Okay, so um, now we have water that has carbon dioxide in it. Now we're gonna have two test tubes. One test tube we're gonna call our control group. I didn't clean my test tube out, so hopefully it's clean. If it changes color, I'll have to clean my test tube out. Give me just a second to see if it works. Ruh, ruh, there we go. Did you see the colors change? It was kind of magical. Okay, so that's one, um, and it might be a little bit hard to see. I keep holding up a white thing behind it to see if you can tell, but that's got that um, yellow-green color, and that's because it's got carbon dioxide in it. And I'm going to go ahead and put a stopper in it so that it can't exchange gases with the room or anything like that. And then I'm going to put it in my test tube rack, and I'm going to set that in, a, in the sunshine, and I'll show that to you in just a minute. 
Okay, in the other one, and let's see, I'll pour this in. It sometimes changes color and then changes back again. Whoop, look, it turned blue, and now it's going back to the yellowish green. And now I'm going to add the plant to this one. So here's my plant, and I'm going to push the plant down. Shove it down with a straw, maybe. Get it going down there. There we go. And we're going to put the plant now also in the sunshine. We're going to let it be there for... I don't know, half an hour, something like that. Um, we need to draw the group. So give me just a second. I'm going to go put these in the window. Um, maybe I can have you follow me. Give me just a second. It's a little tricky to carry them and the computer, but we'll walk over to my window. And you'll be able to see them. Here we go. Can you see them? I hope you can tell what color they are, but that they're kind of green. Um, and we'll check on them a little bit later. I wish the sun was shining directly on them. I might grab a lamp to shine on them so that you can see the color change a little bit better. We'll check back in about a half an hour on that. But let's go ahead and draw the control group and the experimental group. So if you remember the control group, we didn't put a plant in it. Um, that's because we just want to see what happens to the green water. Does the green, yellowish green water, does it change? I'm going to call it yellow. It's not perfectly yellow, but we're going to call it yellow. Um, what happens to the yellow water? Does it change colors all by itself or does it stay the same color no matter what's going on? So let's go ahead and draw the test tube. I'm going to grab a drawing and then we can draw the test tube and you need to label it. I am using a trackpad instead of my stylus. It really makes a difference if you use a stylus. You guys, it's so much better. So sorry that my drawing is going to be pretty bad. So there's my test tube and let's go ahead and put a, um, a stopper in the test tube. So that's my cork. And then let's show that there's water in it. So that's like a little wave to show that it's water. We're going to add some labels to it. And then that's all we added to, oh, I'm going to, I'm sorry, I'm going to put some bubbles in it because we added some carbon dioxide. So just draw some little circles and those will represent um, bubbles of carbon dioxide. And now we just need to add some um, labels. And I'm going to type my labels um, because it's really hard for me to use the trackpad with this. So text box, I'm going to say that we added, click on this. There we go. We added water. I'll, I'll make some arrows to it. Give me just a second. We added B blue and we added carbon, oops, CO2, carbon dioxide. We added carbon dioxide. And so now I'm just going to make some little arrows. I don't remember how to draw arrows. Is there an easy way to draw an arrow? There should be a really easy shapes. I bet shapes. If we go to shapes, we could draw an arrow. It's a line. I can't think of a way to make it a, an arrow, but that's okay. So water. There we go. There's the water. There's B blue in here. And then the, the little dots, the little circles, those are your carbon dioxide bubbles. Okay. So that's our control group. And I'm going to go back to text box down here. If we look down, the initial watercolor, that means when I put it in the window, and we're going to call it yellow. It's kind of yellowish green, but let's just call it yellow. Okay, and then what do we think that color is going to look like? It says after 24 hours, but I bet on such a sunny day today, it'll probably be done in half an hour. So hypothesized color after it's had time um, to sit in the window, nothing should happen, right? It should still be yellow. That's our control group. Nothing is going on in that particular one. All right, now we're going to draw the same exact thing, only this time we're going to add um, we're going to add the plant to it. So again, pardon my bad drawing. Oh, it's so awkward to draw with your finger, you guys. That is just too bad. I can't do it. I can't do that. Undo. Make it go away. I wish I had a stylus. I'm working on my MacBook instead of on a Chromebook. I love the Chromebooks when it comes to drawing things. They're so much better than the MacBooks. The touch screen is just so handy. So here's my test tube and I'm gonna put a stopper in it. Yes, this is gonna look ugly and that's okay. And it's kind of the same drawing at first, but then we have to add a plant. So there's our water. And then this time I'll show you how I want you to draw a plant. Let's go ahead and choose a green color because um, we can choose colors on this. So I'm choosing green. That's the color that I'm going to use. And I'm going to draw a plant in mine. And this is how you can draw the plant. Just draw a stick and then have some, some leaves coming off of it like that. That's our plant and that works perfect. Okay. Um, so then we need to add some bubbles because we added carbon dioxide. So let's add some little circles in here just like we did to the other one. So I'm going to go back to my blue color here. 
and I'm going to add little circles to represent that there's carbon dioxide in here along with the plant. The plant has both. Okay, and then let's go ahead and do some labels again. So text box, I added here water. I added the plant. You could say plant. It's called Elodia. Um, I added, I'm going to put that over here, carbon dioxide. Oops, it didn't work. Carbon dioxide. Um, and we also added, of course, the color, which is called B blue. So we added those things to it. Um, so now I'm going to just draw my lines to it. So that's with under um, shapes. I'm going to draw a little line. So the CO2 has to go right to one of the bubbles and the word plant has to go directly to the green plant. But then the water can go anywhere that's in the liquid. I don't care. And the B blue can go anywhere that's in the liquid. That's totally fine. Okay, so that's my labeled diagram. So the difference between the two groups, the control group does not have a plant and the experimental does have a plant. So we're going to see which one changes color. Okay, the initial color for both of them was yellow. So I'm going to go ahead and click on text box. The initial color was yellow. So here's my question to you and you put whatever you want to right here, but you need to write an answer. Hypothesized color after 24 hours. What color do you think the water will be if it's yellow right now and I put it in the sunshine for a while? What color is it going to be when the plant photosynthesizes and sucks carbon dioxide out if it does that? Just saying. Okay, let's move on and see if we can get some other things started. We've got a data table here and we just need to um, kind of get it ready to go. So it says prepare a data table listing the tubes you used. The table must include columns for what was different between each tube, what change actually occurred, and what conclusion you drew from your results. Oh, I forgot one thing we didn't draw on our two drawings. And that is, I'm going to grab yellow. We need to show, whoops, we need to show that we put it in the light. That's, that's actually important because you can do this lab um, in the dark to see what happens when they do it in the dark. So I'm drawing a sun to show that we put that test tube in the light. And then I'll do the same thing over here that we put this test tube and I'll make it a happy sun. There we go. That'll be my happy sun. Um, and that we put that in. Oh my goodness, it's a bad sun, you guys. Why is anybody letting me draw on this thing? Nobody knows. Okay, I'm almost done here. Got to have all the sun's rays. You know how that goes. Speed me up if you need to. Okay, moving on. Let's go ahead and try this data table. Right now, I'm going to go to um, shapes and I'm going to click on a line so I can draw a nice straight line. And I'm going to draw one right in the middle. That's because we have two test tubes on the wrong way there. There we go. We have two test tubes, so I'm splitting it into two rows. The top row is for labels and the, the left column is for labels. Okay, and it says we need to have three things that we need to have listed. So what was different between each test tube, what change actually occurred, and what conclusions we drew. So I'm going to draw two lines so that we have three additional columns. I'm not going to make this perfect because I don't care that much. Does it need to be perfect, everybody? No. We are okay with imperfection. Just be close. Almost perfect is good. There we go, good enough. Okay, so let's try text box now and let's start labeling what our different test, test, test tubes, can't spit it out, test tubes are. Okay, so the first test tube we're gonna call control and the second test tube we're gonna call experimental. And then in this column, it said number one, what was different between each tube. So let's say contents. What was in the test tube? What did we add to each test tube? Um, and then let's call it color change here. Color change. How did the colors change? And then the last one we're going to say conclusion. And really it's um, photosynthesis. Photosynthesis. Yes or no. There. So we can just say yes or no for whether photosynthesis occurred. Okay. So what were the contents of the control group? What did we add in the control group? Well, let's think back to our drawing. We added water. We added CO2. Oops, CO2. We added um, bromothymol blue. And we added sunlight. That was it. That's all the contents. So then the experimental is going to be exactly the same. Water. Oops, I hit caps lock. Water. CO2, B blue, blue, and sunlight, sunlight, okay? Um, and then the color change, we can't do that yet. We know that it started, 
<coughs> both of them started yellow. So we're just going to write a yellow. And then you can do a dash and an arrow, and it turns it into a an arrow. Usually turns it into an arrow. Oh, that one didn't, but that's okay. And then let's wait. We're going to leave that blank. Um, and then we'll do that over here, too. It started yellow. And then what color does it turn? We don't know yet. Okay, and then we're going to leave our conclusion until we've seen the colors. So right now, I'm going to pause, and we're going to um, let the let the plant photosynthesize, and then we'll come back and finish the video. All right, everybody, we're back. I've let this um, photosynthesize in the sunny window for quite some time. I want to make sure you can see the color. Can you see the color change? So this was our control group. Hopefully you can see the color. I don't know if you can, but that stayed the green color, yellowish. It's yellow. We're going to call it yellow. It stayed that color and it didn't change. Maybe I'll hold it in front of a white piece of paper here. Let's try that. There we go. So you can see the control group with just this one hasn't changed color at all. But look what happened to the one with the plant in it. It is a lovely, lovely, lovely shade of blue. I hope you can see how blue that is. There we go in front of the window, trying to move the right way. I'm moving all the wrong way. There we go. Hopefully you can see that pretty blue color. Um, but it definitely sucked up all of the carbon dioxide. Um, and it did it really fast because it's a bright, sunny day. Sometimes when we do this lab in the winter, it takes a really long time. Oops, I'm going to put these away. And then let's finish up the lab. I'm going to set them back in the window. And we'll go ahead and finish up the lab. So we're back here where it says color change. So the control group did not change color. It stayed that yellow green. We're just going to call it yellow. Um, and then the experimental did change color. It changed to blue. So our conclusion, did photosynthesis happen here? No photosynthesis. And yes, whoops, yes, photosynthesis happened in this particular um, test you. So now this is the part where you need to do some work independently. It says, describe and explain all of your results, even if the experiment did not turn out as you expected. Well, ours turned out. I wouldn't, I wouldn't make a video of one that didn't turn out very well. Um, so let's explain those results. So we've got two that we need to talk about. So let's try, I'm going to let you do most of it. Let's try the control test tube. The control, um, it started yellow and ended yellow because, finish that thought. Why did it start yellow and end yellow? Why did it start yellow, you guys? What, what caused it to be yellow in the first place? I added carbon dioxide, right? And that changed it to yellow. Okay, then we need to do the experimental. The experimental, experimental, um, here we go. It started yellow and ended blue because, finish that sentence. Okay, why did it end blue? It started yellow because I added carbon dioxide. But the color changed because the plant sucked up the carbon dioxide and turned it back into that blue color. Um, so it used up all the carbon dioxide. So get that written down, that the plant is doing photosynthesis and it's sucking up the carbon dioxide that I added to it, that we added to it. All right. And then the last thing that you need to do is called suggestions for further research. Um, think of other related experiments that you could run. In other words, list three variables that you think could lead to, oops, sorry, variables that you could change that might lead to new interesting results. Okay. There's all kinds of things that we could try here. What if we tried, um, let, let's write, we could try um, doing the experiment in the dark. You don't have to write this. You can come up with your own. If you want to use mine, that's totally fine. We could try We could try using a different plant. We could try using salt water. What impact if it was salt water? What would happen? Um, we could try using um, a colored light. What would, it, what would happen if we used black light or a green light or a red light? So using a colored light. Um, what would happen if we used hot water, hot or cold water, right? How does that affect the results? Does it slow down or speed up the results or does it stop the results? All of those are experiments that we could try that are inspired by this first experiment. All right, cuties, just get that um, second section done and get this submitted. Let me know if you have any questions. Peace.